Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on using object masking in Metascan. If you're relatively new to photogrammetry, one of the first things you might have noticed is that when you're imaging your object on a flat surface, the bottom surface of your object becomes clipped. Metascan makes this very easy to overcome. Enabling object masking, you can create a full 360 degree 3D model of any object that you like. My process for object masking is quite simple. I bought this $20 light box off of eBay and a $10 cake turner off of Amazon. The light box gives you very diffuse lighting, which reduces the harsh shadows that you normally get when you're outside or under a normal incandescent globe. And the cake turner allows you to perform very smooth movements by rotating the object around a central point. So let's jump right in and I'll show you my workflow for making full 360 degree photogrammetry models using object masking in Metascan. So the first thing I did was just to place the key in the center of the cake turner. Then in Metascan, I positioned my smartphone, which was on a tripod, so that the key was completely within the frame. You can use either the one times or two times camera lens to try and fit your object perfectly within the frame. The key to this process is to make sure that the background doesn't change at all. So I generally try and fill the entire frame with the object that I'm trying to image and reduce the number of background objects that are in my photo. You'll also want to make sure that your object stays within the frame at all turntable angles. So with the key properly positioned, I take a single photo, then manually rotate the turntable and repeat this process to take images of the object from all directions. In this case, I ended up using the two times lens so I could zoom in on the object a little bit more. Probably better to use the one time magnification for larger objects. Once you've finished taking images of the object from one side, stop and then flip the object over on the turntable so that you can take images from the other side of the object as well. You might have to do this a few times depending on the shape of your object. Once I'd finished taking pictures of this object, I selected full resolution for the reconstruction quality. I use a 4096 pixel resolution for the textures. And importantly, you want to make sure that object masking is switched to on. This will tell Metascan that the object has rotated relative to the background and that allows it to stitch together all of the photos regardless of whether or not the object's been rotated and allow you to get a full 360 degree model from your photos. Once you've selected these options, just press process. Then wait for the photos to be uploaded to the Metascan servers and you can see the object masking feature has done a really good job of texturing and uh, creating a mesh of the object from all directions. And that's how easy it is using Metascan's object masking mode. You can generate these amazingly high quality 3D scans of whatever object that you like. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found this or any of my other tutorials useful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for other videos like this in the future. Thanks again and see you next time.